What's up guys, um, you're either going to see this physique update in the next video or in the video that I'm in Birmingham, I'm not too sure what I'm going to film but I thought I'd just do another physique update in this light in the exact same place as before I'm going to put them side by side so you can see the difference So I'm currently 8 weeks into my cut, uh, I'm 90 kilos exactly I was uh, yesterday, I woke up a little bit heavy today but no problem really uh, and this is where I'm at, so hopefully you can see the difference definitely Skin's getting much tighter. Abs are definitely coming out. And definitely making a difference. Still got nine weeks left. Uh, it's plenty of time. Hopefully we'll probably get down to about 84 kilos. So six more kilos to go. Seven kilos down currently. What's up guys, how you all doing? Um, I'm gonna start this video off by giving you a little update. So, I'm currently on 2,550 calories. Uh, that's around 255 grams of carbs, give or take five or 10 grams. I'm not too meticulous on, that, on, those, kind of, on those kind of facts. Um, it's 191 grams of protein, but I aim for 200, so my carbs come down a little bit. Um, and 85 grams of fat. Very, very sustainable for me. I feel good, I get good pumps, uh, libido's good. Um, generally losing weight very quickly um, feel like I'm maintaining my muscle mass um, you just seen the physique update obviously so you know you can see the difference there I'm very you know I'm, I'm really I'm really leaning up well um, nine weeks to go so I'm very very happy with where I am I just come to get my uh, my belt my knee sleeves and my squatting shoes from my car because uh, I left them here and I came back and I left my I left my headphones here like, well I came, I came Friday night and today's Sunday and they've just been resting, resting on top of here the entire time. Lucky me. Good people in this world, thank you all. Rocking the new Top Man hoodie. Really like this. Good khaki colour green. A good friend once told me if you're ginger you got to wear dark earthy colours. Hence the reason I have greens. Green knee sleeves, green shoes, green lifters, wherever they are. There we go. Uh, I've got the the Gymshark, the Gymshark grey leggings on with my new Adidas Ultra Boosts, uncaged. Real nice exclusives. Shout out to the guys at Offspring, hook me up. Um, if you guys have noticed, I've been trying to do editing things. Shout out to my boy Casey Neistat. Um, big, big inspiration of mine when coming to uh, editing videos. Obviously, I'm nowhere near as good. I probably won't be anywhere near as good, but you've got to try. You've got to try your own things. Try get there. Beat Production. flashing on my battery so I'm not gonna be able to film too much today. Sorry guys, probably have to see you tomorrow. Left my charger at home as well. No. What's up guys, so um, me and Sammy have um, just been finalizing um, my client, doc, uh, my client check-ins, my client documents, um, and basically my training plans and diets and all those kind of things um, for my kind of coaching, online coaching service. Um, I'm really going to start pushing that now as I really have seen some good results from a few of my guys. Um, I'll put their pictures on screen right now. Um, if you guys are interested, if you guys just want direction, uh, if you guys want comp prep, if you guys just want to lose weight, if you guys just want to gain weight, whatever your goals are regarding the gym, regarding diet, I can really help you. I feel like I can really add some kind of value because I personally 
I don't believe in that kind of very very strict restrictive dieting and and I, and I believe about I believe making training and dieting a good part of your life making it sustainable making it enjoyable um and making it be able to balance it you know with work I mean, I've had guys that, that work, I've had guys that go to school, I've had, you know, I've had kids that go to school uh, and they've all been able to balance the program and I really feel like I can, I can add something to you, uh, to you guys. If, you, if, you're, if you're lost, that is. If you know what you're doing, great, <laughs> no problem. Uh, but if you want a little bit of help, just shoot me an email, JBF Fitness Clients, uh, on the bottom of the screen right now um, and either me or Sammy will get back to you. Um, I know Sammy very, very well, and I know that she she knows her shit just as well as me. Um, everything that we get that goes through her will be checked by me, not that it needs to be, and everything that's, that I do is going to be checked by her, not that it needs to be. But this is just to make sure that we give you the best service that we can, um, and we really want to push this now because you know it's what we want to do. We want to help people. So, um, so for those of you guys that don't know, I'm currently studying level two and level three personal training, and so is Sammy. So we're both on the courses. Uh, we'll both be qualified probably within about six weeks. Um, not that you need qualifications to know your stuff at all because it's all on the internet these days So it's not really a big big deal, but just so you guys know we are getting qualified um, And we really want to bring you the best service we can so please shoot me an email if you guys need any help I've got an alright following now So I feel like I can really jump in and, and start helping you guys right now first hand so shoot me an email That's it. See you later What's up guys, I'm here with a little voiceover. I'm gonna see how this works. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Let me know what you think. So, um, what I did today, I picked a few exercises that I wanted to really work on, really work heavy. Um, and then I just kind of went through them and did qu quite a few sets on each, probably minimum, probably five sets I think I did on one of them. And then the highest I did like 10 sets, like I did 10 sets of overhead presses. So I'm not gonna take you through all of them. I'm just gonna explain how I did them and why I did them. So the first exercise with overhead press, um, it's a big compound movement, you use your glutes, you use your uh, hamstrings, you lose, you use your chest when you're really up there, you use your lower back when you're in there trying to keep tight for the, for the, for the weight. So how you do this, what you want to do, very very simple, I'd say shoulder, just hands shoulder width apart and then come out about a thumb, that's my preferred grip, I know it's quite close, you can go wider if you feel it, if you, uh, if you feel it works better for you, it doesn't really matter too much, it's more what works for you, so what I do is, out, just outside, I come under, right under there. When, I, when I'm under here, I'm, I'm nice and tight here. My lats are actually tensed. My lower back is completely, you know, engaged. My core is braced. Obviously got the belt on so I can really breathe out. Hold that um, wall tension. Lock up, take a big deep breath so I really compact myself even more. And all I do, straight up. And, and as you come up, you need to focus on pop your head through deeper as the Hodgman's would say so you're coming through under and you're pushing straight up I don't need to come out bring the elbows you put keeping your elbows in pushing straight up popping that head through and it's easy as that after that I moved on to uh, kind of supersets so I did uh, these rear delts uh, just simply bent over uh, started I think I did two sets of 20 reps two sets of 15 two sets of 10 two sets of eight and then I worked back up to a 20 so I did quite a few sets of my red outs and they're actually really hurting now. Um, simply, all I want you to do is put the dumbbells facing each other completely and you're just gonna come out in that exact direction. So you wanna imagine there's a string attached here and you're just pulling out very, very simply. You wanna make it so that you just come to here. As soon as your, your scapulas retract, that's when you're actually engaging the middle of that back and, and actually like kind of the middle of the traps as well. And maybe a little bit of traps when you're just trying to shrug up. So instead, what I want you to do is Nice and straight, come here, you're gonna come just before, you're gonna stop just before that your scapula is actually pinched back. Um, you'll really target that rear delt, if you kind of keep that constant tension, keep, com keep in constant t tension on rear delts, it's one of the hardest things to do in my opinion, so give it a try, let me know how you find it. Uh, this was super set straight of lateral raises, all I want you to do is imagine putting the dumbbells against your pockets and you're just coming exactly the direction where your po uh, pockets are, elbow is slightly bent, Elbows higher than wrists, easy as that. You guys have probably heard it a million times before. Um, I then supersetted lateral delts on the cables, which is just basically more tension as you come down, you want to let go, hold it even more because it's got a bit more tension. Um, supersetted that with 
front delts. Front delts, you want to chop your, I always say chop your eyes in half. So you're, you're coming up with a dumbbell and you're aiming to just come straight through the middle of that body across. So that across movement just isolates that front delt. Rather, if you come straight up, you can kind of pull back with the rear delt and also the trap here. So I come slightly across, just isolates. It also gets a little bit of the upper chest, so it's not too bad if you're trying to work on that upper chest. Finally, I did these upright rows for my traps, the back of my rear delts, and also the lateral, uh, the lateral delts. Um, I did these with dumbbells. Um, I find it, it really hits my shoulder better. I can, I can really feel the squeeze a lot more. I can focus on it a lot easier. Uh, and also, I've got a bit of an imbalance in this shoulder. Got a bad shoulder injury, Running up, going up for a dunk. Um, Hyperextended, caught so I held onto the dunk. Bang, ripped it. Absolutely killed me. So it's been like two years, still get sore. I still have to ice it every single shoulder session. Um, bit of a nightmare, but I've got to do what you got to do. With these uh, upright rows, you want to come just about just, just in front of your pockets again, but you're just going to come straight up, straight up. And actually, doing these doesn't aggravate my shoulder as much as doing uh, doing it with um, with a bar. So it's very very ideal for me. You can always adapt an exercise. There's always you know there's, there's more than one way to skin a fish, as the saying goes. You know if you want to do upright rows, you can do it with the bar. You can do it with the easy bar because it because that actual, that actual handle relieves a little bit as well. You, know, you can do it wide. You can do it close. You can do it underhand. You can grab dumbbells. There's so many different ways. So don't close yourself off to one single way. Um, there's a million ways to do one thing. Just Google it, YouTube it. No, comment down below, and someone, someone will bound to be able to help you. Um, that's it for me today, guys. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a scattered video. It's a bit of yesterday. It's a bit of today, and this is actually the end of Monday, 4th of July. It is quarter to nine. Uh, still light, light outside. Beautiful day. Um, hopefully, a bit good one tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, honestly, guys, if, if you're watching this video, I get about three, four hundred views now, guys. I can't believe that. That's crazy for me. I'm just a guy in his garden with his dog <laughs> talking about lifting. Um, don't forget, guys, any training. If you do want me to train you, I can program you, can help you. I can really, really work with your lifestyle. Um, don't hesitate. Just contact the email address below. Um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.